After back-to-back postseason appearances, the Fort Plain girls soccer team is looking for a return trip to sectionals this fall. They've got to develop the idea of, of containing, not rushing to a ball, you know, lunging to a ball. They've got to contain, slow it down until perhaps we get help from the half, uh, halfbacks and such. So it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a big job. Fort Plain will focus much of its efforts on the defensive side after losing a number of seniors to graduation and a few more players that moved out of the district. Um, well, our defense is probably going to be all three seniors this year, so they should have a lot of experience. It's really important when balls get down there, and since we lost the goalie, our defense is really important to us. Well, I think defense is really important. I mean, you have to protect the goalie, you have to protect the offense, you have to protect the people coming onto the offense. Um, having speed and big feet in the offense or defense is going to be one big thing to help us out. I think we have a little more experience defensively. I kind of envisioned working on our defense and uh, you know, and then push into an offense. That's going to put the onus on some of my other more experienced girls um, that have a good, uh, a pretty good idea of what's going on. Fort Plain is scheduled to open the season on August 30th at Burnox Westerlo, but then the toppers are thrown right into back-to-back -back rivalry games with OESJ and Canada Jahari. We look forward to the under lights games. We get a lot of people that come to them and they're always exciting and OESJ is probably my most exciting game because we've lost them a lot and I think we have a chance this year because they lost a lot of people. I really hope that we can go to sectionals and get further than what we have before. The Hilltoppers have gone to back-to-back -back Section 2 Class D tournaments, including a number 5 seed last year after taking on Class C competition throughout its Western Athletic Conference schedule. This year looks like a similar challenge. Kandro Fort Plain game is always a big one. It's always, oh, who's going to win this time and who's going to win the next game? And OESJ is a big one, too. They lost a lot of girls, as did we, so it'll be close. Our team, out of all the teams around us, we have the most dedication and drive and determination, and I think that's going to help us a lot when season comes because we're going to, we push until we have no limits left. And you see that all the time during practice. So it's just going to be incredible during a game. Jog over, don't walk. Okay.